Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Hewell Hauser. It's about 9.30 on a beautiful Saturday morning. We're here at Guahomey Regional Park in northern San Diego County, and I'm standing at the campfire with... David Luck. David, you invited us to come to your little outing that you're having here this weekend. Explain to everybody exactly what this is. This is a gathering of teardrops. Uh, you see teardrop trailers behind us. They're little trailers made four foot wide, four foot high, anywhere from eight to 10 feet long. And this is a gathering of people from all over Southern California, Arizona, <laughs> Nevada. Uh, we had one person that was coming from Cheyenne, Wyoming that couldn't get out because of the snow. <laughs> but we all have a common interest of the teardrops. Teardrops, and we're cooking breakfast right out of the back of a teardrop this morning. Good morning. Hi. Well, now, have you got everything you need in the back of this little trailer? Definitely. We've got water and the stove and propane, and we can cook anything you want to eat. Because the beauty of these, Dave, come over here and explain to us this whole thing. It really is just a little teardrop. Yeah, these, these, it's a teardrop trailer. The, the name teardrop came from some of them you'll see that come to a point in the back like the one over behind us here. But uh, they're basically designed from the 30s to the 70s and they were to bring the, the American public back together at post-war and, and pre-war type mm -hmm. uh, thing. And uh, this one is a, a 1962 that's been totally restored and some of them have been totally restored. You'll see some of them that uh, are in need where they just pulled them out from underneath the tree and started using them. <laughs> uh, and we have some that are, are, are original and excellent shape. The one behind you is, is excellent shape. Uh, oh, he look at this way. one. Can he we go it. over and... Howdy, is this your trailer? No, this no. is mine. Whose Norm, is this? This is Norman Ann's trailer. Howdy. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Tell us about nice your... You. Tell us about your little teardrop here. Come over here, Louie, and look at it in the back. This is amazing. You've really packed a lot into that thing. <laughs> this teardrop is really special. It's a 1937 Gypsy Caravan. It Gypsy was, Caravan? Mm -hmm. It was built in Bell, California. It's had three owners. All three owners live in a little town called Crockett, uh -huh. California. And uh, so we have all the history on this trailer. Now this is made out of... It's a vinyl or an oil cloth. Uh, this it, is wood underneath That's here. wood underneath, but see, it's pre-war, so they were short on aluminum, so they found a different way to do this one. And look at the, it's got a little, can we open up that's the refrigerator? ice box. We've taken this to hot August nights and still had ice in it to throw away after a three-day trip. Now, where's the stove? The stove is a propane stove that I use, a two-burner propane. And it, so it pulls and out. And it pulls out. And, and I look usually at your dishes down. underneath here. He pulled the table up and it's got That's dishes. That's where we store our extra pots and pans and lids. I have, I have pantry area here. Uh -huh. Very, very deep drawer, you know, to keep my towels and various other sundries. And um, I mean, you have everything that you need. And now, where do you sleep? I can show you. If you'd like. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a nice size double bed. There's uh, drawers. And uh, if, if you were a young couple, there's plenty of room up above that you could have slept a child or two. Let's open that door again on the other side so Louie can see up there. Is it long enough to put your feet? It's a 10-footer. This one is a little longer than most. Most you'll find are 8-footers. Wow. But this one is 10 feet, and it really does have the shape of the tear. If you look at this one on a long profile. It's <laughs> yeah, it's got a tear, all right. Boy, this is something. Now, what is this one? What is this one over here? Who's this? That one belongs to Brad and That's to Brad. Jackie. And I'll let you tell them so, about it, Brad. So you all know everybody. Oh, we've had a wonderful time. This all started in Shasta for us about four years ago. And this group has now started... Southern California. Southern California, Southern California group. Tell us about yours, because yours doesn't quite come out to that teardrop like the other one did. Correct. This is a Ben Roy trailer. It was made by Bennett Peterson and uh, uh, Roy Greenwood back in the 50s. They started in 53. 
and uh, went through till 56. They built 480 of these, sold for $420 when they were brand new. These are California trailers. These are California trailers built in Burbank, California. Can we put the back down and see what it looks sure. like? How hard is it to open and close these little things? Very easy. <laughs> this is the unique part about this teardrop. Look at this. It just it's goes. It's all wood. It just slides in there. Boy. And it just comes. And you're ready to hit the road. That's it. It you're doesn't gone. take any time at all. Now, did you all have a good night's sleep in this one last night? And for the last five nights. Your legs aren't all cramped oh, up no. from being no. in there? Because it looks, well, I guess there's more room. It's four by eight piece of plywood, and you have two feet back here, and we're not over six feet tall. Yeah. So Look at this, Louie. Here they go in there again. <laughs> when he restored this, this is the original wood, this round piece of wood here. Right here. Yeah. The other side he had to replace, but that was original. The cupboards inside are original. The drawers back here were original. 1956. Ben Roy teardrop. Ben Roy. Now here is a, boy, this is a beauty. Is this yours? Yes, it is. Well, tell us about it. This looks like it's made out of aluminum. Well, it's a 1950 Camp Master. They were made in Torrance, California by King's Trailer Sales. We don't know a whole heck of a lot more. We have the original sales brochure, so we do look know a little bit about it. Look at the lines on this thing. Wood underneath and aluminum on the outside. And look at the Please come in and see the back. Wait a minute, you got a door on the back door. of it. Come on in here. No, it's upstairs. You can go upstairs on this one. It's on oh, the story. look. You can go up inside the trailer. Right, lifts up pops up for uh, easy camping when you get there. Now this is a big teardrop. This is a really big teardrop. This is much better than uh, our old teardrop, yeah. more to the traditional style. So the teardrops really didn't have to be small. They could be big, although most of them are small. Most of they? them are fairly small. This is one of the larger ones you're going to see. Wow. Yeah. We have a Come couch. here, Louie, and look at this. They've got a, a stove here. And if you come over here and look right through, hold the door open for Louie so he can see. You can see right on back, they've got a, a couch. This couch, and it lifts up and folds down like the old hideaway sofas, so that's the bed. Wow. Back behind, it, back behind there is uh, closet space. I have all my clothes hung up. And I'm standing up all the way up, the way and up. My, my head is barely touching the ceiling, and I'm over six feet tall. That's right. And here's your sink. Sink. Wow, and it's a step down too. Now, do they brag a lot about the size of their trailer? <laughs> they sure do. Do they? They said they paid their dues. They said they used to have one of those, and now they've had those, so they paid their dues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here's a little one over here. Whose is ours. that? That's ours. Well, come over. Oh, good. <laughs> so we got the littlest one. Next to the biggest one right here. Now, did, that, did you all park that way on purpose? Uh, no, no, it just happened to be. Now, this is ours. Look in here. Well, actually, even in this little one, there's a lot of room in there. And we have some plans for some um, amenities. We're going to put a TV in with a little VCR. And, in here? Uh, yeah, we've already got the cabinet for it and measured it out. So pretty soon we'll have the TV and the VCR. And this is was made back when? 1947. We have the original plate on the top of it. Can we let it down sure. so we can see that? Look at this. This and is... we, It holds $60 worth of groceries easily. $60, 60 for... 60 bucks worth of groceries we can put into our, our camera. Look at this, Louie. It just opens up. This is the refrigerator right here. Yep. And this is the... This stove was the, built right in with it. Right. The original Hansen stove in uh -huh. its propane LPG gas that, w that we have here with a small canister. And where did you find this thing? Well, we found this actually in the city of Whittier, and it was sitting in some per person's backyard. Really? And we saw it through a chain link fence and we went over there and made an offer on it and now it's ours. Did these stickers come with it? Or? These are the stickers of the, the people that uh, I bought it from and then mine are over on the far side uh, because I've only had it a couple years. So, so these been, are original uh, stickers from Mount Rainier, Yellowstone, Jackson Hole, Yosemite, Lewis and Clark Cavern. Death Valley, Big Sur, 
These are the places this little teardrop yeah. went in its first life. That's right. Now it's on its second life. And it's enjoying it uh, very much. Now this has a wonderful look to it. This is great. This is like, this whole thing here is like stepping back in time. Tell us the motif that you're establishing here. Well, he's the one who's in charge of the motif. <laughs> this just... is your motif. Yeah, I just, we've been camping uh, since I was a little kid, and I always liked the look of the, the older things. So we just, uh, we found this little trailer out at the Pomona Swap Meet over and uh, just sitting there all by itself. And I said, I gotta have it or I'll hate myself the rest of my life. Now, so. was it in that condition? Close that door first. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Man, that, that has almost a 30s kind of a modern look to it. Yeah, it's Art a... deco kind of, I'm not sure what this is. It's, it's a 49 Streamliner. Uh, Streamliner 1949? 49. Streamliner was the company. And uh, the Aero Chief is this model. This was actually the largest trailer that the company made. Look at this. It's got the Chief right on the side with the, the, the wonderful red. The, uh, the other two models they made, the, the second smaller one was the Aero Maiden. And the smallest one was called the Papoose. Really? <laughs> so they, they made a whole little family of these things. Now this is an old one. Right. right. Are they still making them, or can um, you do you have to build new ones if you? No. What what you uh, you can find the originals. They're still out there. Uh, in fewer and fewer numbers, as you can tell, people are you know I mean they're they're scouring backyards. Well, we and know barns what there is out. I mean everybody's <laughs> looking for them now. Right. Right. And there are about. Um, seven or eight manufacturers today that are custom building trailers and they're all backyard builders you know hardly anybody has a full scale shop tooled up to build these things because there's, there just doesn't seem to be enough demand for them it's a very very you know special market and uh but some... this may be starting a, a new trend <laughs> this may be starting well i i i hope that's true in one respect yes now this so. is what are we doing? We're sitting around comparing yeah, notes. Yeah, you're darn right. We're, we're comparing ours against somebody else's. Yeah. So where's yours? What we did. Oh, it's up on the hill right there. And what do you home. see down here that you like? Well, she has one identical to it that they're restoring now. So she's trying to get some ideas yeah, on how to do it. Yeah. I see. So there's a lot of this swapping yeah, of information exactly. going on. Yes, sir. There sure is. How hard is it to restore one of these things? Well, I worked on mine for over a year. It really? was nothing but a pile of aluminum and a frame. The wood was totally dry rotted, so it's been put back together. Everything in it, yeah. Where'd you see it? Spot it the uh, first. A friend time. of mine found it up in Hemet, sitting mm -hmm. in a guy's yard. He had drug it down on a trailer from Seattle, it belonged to his grandfather. And you saw the potential. Oh yeah. He wouldn't sell it to anybody because everybody wanted to modify it, and I told him I wanted to restore it, so he sold it to me because if you're going to restore it, I'll sell it to you. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so I the totally idea it. is to bring it back exactly the way it was. So. Yes. I think that's really important. I think, uh, uh, especially for the younger people, they don't realize what they've missed because they've never been introduced to it. And we're hoping to bring this back to them. Oh, you've got a great little trailer here. Tell us about it. Well, my wife and I bought this about three years ago and it, it set up in the snow for uh, several years and got all deteriorated. So uh, I put my wife to work as a carpenter. <laughs> well, then he put you to work. Yes, yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> so you redid this thing. Well, we both did. I had the curtains made in uh, two cat material. We like cats. A friend of mine, Wanda, made me the little qu cat quilt. Look in here, Louie. We've got a whole cat motif yeah, going right. in here. This <laughs> yeah. is a great little... So. Can I get in here? You sure can. <laughs> Come on in here with me. Sit down here and talk to me been with a strange man a long time. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Yeah. We're in the trailer. Yeah. Now it is cozy in you, here. You better believe it. You have to love your <laughs> husband to be in here. <laughs> Were trailer parks big back in California in the... Well, um, ever since the, the whole Dust Bowl period when people started moving out to California, at first they were just a means of transportation to get here from there. And a lot of the teardrops, the originals, didn't actually have a top structure. They had tent poles and they would throw canvas over it for a place to sleep in while they were on the road. Um, but after that, it just, uh, they used to call people trailer rides that would travel around. Call them what? Trailer rides. Trailer ride. Yeah, that's what we would have been known as back then. Is that what you all are? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs>
But they, they travel the country going from park to park, especially with people who had uh, different jobs that required them to move around quite a bit. They just pick up the trailer and move to another trailer park. They all had full hookups. They were like little communities, had parks. But they and wouldn't have been like in that. these little teardrops. With no, them. they would have had the larger trailers. Yeah. The, the teardrops kind of just sprung out of a little, maybe a, what we'd call today a cult following of, of the ones that actually came out to California originally. Now, talking about the ultimate California experience right yes, here. Yes, sir. We're, we're out camping. We're this, enjoying ourselves. There's no wildlife anywhere in San Diego <laughs> County, so we brought our own. <laughs> well, tell me about your teardrop and your car, because this yeah. is quite a combination here. 1947 Kinskill. We've owned it and camped in it for the past 20 years. Really? My wife and I enjoy it. She's cooked a many a meal back there. Um, we've traveled uh, back in 89. We traveled 7,000 miles across the United States and back across Canada. So this isn't just a showpiece. No, this, sir. No, sir. This, this is, is functional. This is for makeup. This is my wife's makeup case. <laughs> now this screams Americana right here. This is it. Right here, tell us about what we're looking at here. Uh, we've had the car about 15 years, and then we, uh, we ended up getting the teardrop about 10 years ago. And you've got a tent down here, too. Yes, we have to have a tent because there's uh, five of us in our family, <laughs> and only two fit in the teardrop. It just doesn't fit the whole family, <laughs> well, Not does the whole it? family, no. Now, did you restore this? Did you buy this? What's the history I, on it? I bought the trailer. It was white in color, and then I had it painted in pinstripe to match my car. Um, the car's a 1937 Ford, and the teardrop is a 1946 kit. Uh -huh. And uh, we use it as often as we can. Now, what's it like taking the whole family and go? Do you actually take the whole family and go out oh, for a yeah. week? Well, not for a week, usually just about weekends. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we actually found it when we, we bought it. We actually found it. It was in front of a guy's front yard, and the um, Christopher and Matthew were little. I mean, real little. And we really were looking for a luggage trailer. So we saw it in front of this guy's yard, and we ended up uh, purchasing it from him. Well, we actually traded an ATC. But uh -huh. This was we motorcycle. Traded, you traded a motorcycle. Traded a motorcycle for the teardrop, <laughs> yes. And what do you think about this whole thing? It's pretty fun. Yeah. Do you ever get to sleep in it? Is it a big deal to get to sleep in it, or would you rather sleep in the tent? Well, I never really get to sleep in it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? The first time what? that actually I have been able to sleep in it with him. Usually it's me and him get I to gotcha. sleep in it. So this time he said, that's okay, I'll sleep in the tent. and and. So mom and we dad got, got to sleep. An evening alone last night. <laughs> in the teardrop. In the teardrop. Let yes. me see you all. Let's get the, can we, no, no, we can't get the whole family oh, in there. Sure that I just could. wouldn't <laughs> work. Sure we could. But it's got to be uh, a conversation piece. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. As we say, we've had ours about 10 years and um, they've really just come where everybody's seen them within the last five years. So back then, we're really embarrassed to say that we'd take it some places, and people would come up to us and say, oh, my grandfather had one of those, we have one, would you like to buy it? And we were too stupid to say, oh yeah, we'll buy it, because yeah. we didn't realize. We didn't realize what was gonna happen Yeah, so. But being the color it is, it's very difficult to miss going down the street. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you know what? They knew what they were doing when they made these things, didn't they? Oh, they yeah. absolutely did. Ours, ours, the, not everything is original. It's got the original water fill where the inside is where the water tank is. And the table back here oh, is original the how setup. it slid in. Yeah. And this is an original 1946 ice box. And it works really, really well. But the sink, I'm sure, it has been redone. And, uh, and we just dressed it up. It was really somewhat like it is, but we put in, you know, the new paint and the little covers. And, and you're the only one on your block with a yellow teardrop. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah, the only one. Yeah, and we sure do enjoy it. Well, let's get a shot of the whole family. Your name again, the family's name? Uh, Pam and Don Plant, and we have Christopher. Christopher. Steven, Steven and, Matthew. and Matthew. Great, let's get a shot of you just right out by the teardrop. <laughs> the last name of the family? Plant. Plant, the Plant family with their yellow teardrop and yellow car. <laughs> They're ready. Boy, this has a nice look to it here, but you've got something over <laughs> here 
that I think tops the cake here today. Okay. You have really set a mood here. Right. This stage. is the way it was. This was uh, motoring and this is a 42 car and this is a 1948 Kenskill trailer. This would be a, a gentleman traveling from back east uh, out to California. With now look, you've got your desert water bag. Desert water bag. Uh, they actually had those. You used them all the time. If you did cross the desert, you needed that because the older cars didn't have pressurized radiators, so water would boil at 210 and it would come out of the radiator, so you would have to put more water in it. So, so you got the was, water bag. There was a water bag. You stopped and filled the radiator and the water bag. This is a swamp cooler. This is a cools the air, goes inside of here. There's a string inside, and this turns a burlap sack inside, and you get more water inside. Look so at as this. the air comes through the air, you get water, and you have a basic swamp cooler for the inside of the car. Early air conditioning. And Vegas, these rented for about a dollar a day rental. You got your luggage up luggage on the top. The roof rack. Your fishing pole. The fishing poles. And the Kenskill, the infamous trailer. Why we're all here. Now, what do you mean the infamous trailer? Well, these are these have helped told a lot of stories. Uh, a lot of people see these things and they go back to their childhood right away. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people of our age uh, did some camping in these. These were quite renting uh, rentas. They rented these out a lot along the beach areas. These are just as basic as they get. Basic as they get. Just primitive uh, lifestyle. This Made out of aluminum. This aluminum siding. It's got a wonderful look to it. It's all original look. What, that, <laughs> so this many, is original. This is all original uh, trailer here. I bought this from a neighbor about uh, two blocks away from my house. Never knew he had it until we ran across a friend. And as soon as I bought the car, I knew I wanted a trailer to go with it. So here I am. So is this what, what, what we would have seen in a state park or right. a national park right. and a campground in the forties? Campgrounds, right. This is probably in the forties, early fifties, uh, you would see this era of stuff right here. They would have packed up the family in the car. Packed up the family in the car, threw everything on top, and away you go. The fishermen and the hunters are originally what started these. Then they wanted, in the 30s, they went to a little bit bigger because they wanted for families, and the woman got into the play. Then in the 40s, they had all these leftover aluminum skins like from the this airplane. One down here. Yes. And so all this had to be put to use, you know, use things, and so they made them out of the aluminum skins, and that's and, why we have aluminum. And they really basically made them themselves, didn't they? Right. In the September of 1947 Mechanics Illustrated magazine, they had this article. And this was to, to show you how to build a teardrop. And most people did them home built. There weren't a lot of businesses that made them. And they were very detailed about the way they gave you instructions to do it. So you could buy plans Buy, buy materials. You bought a magazine, you had the plans. And that's build it. your own teardrop. Right, precisely. So that's what these signs mean on some of these that say home built. home built. Yeah. They really were built at home. They were somebody's imagination. They looked at a basic plan and they said, I can do that. And they gave them an opportunity to flourish in their own given talents. So that's how they all grew with these different personalities. There's not a one here out of the 62 here. There is not a one of them alike. Every one of them have a different personality and we love it. We just love it. Now here comes one. What's the story on this one? Well, that's a good question, but I can tell you. <laughs> this, the, the, here, this, is, this, is part of, this is part of the intrigue. This is part of the mystery of, of, of tear dropping in general is we don't know. We don't know the entire history. And people show up with a trailer like this. Now, we got to figure out, was it made by a manufacturer? Was it built from a set of plans? Uh, quite often, the owner wants to know the same thing. He just has This one looks cool. old. There you go. You got a 1957 trailer license plate on the dock. 1951. Right 51, excuse me. Well, uh, oh, my gosh. Let's go over and ask him, what's the story? What's the story on your teardrop? Well, it's a 1946, what they call a special construction. Uh, it doesn't actually have a manufacturer. Somebody made it in 46, and it had about 20 coats of paint on it. And we're still we, working on it. We're still working on it, and 
it's getting there. <laughs> well, you're causing quite a stir driving in here this morning. Everybody wants to know about it. Well, uh, we bought it up in Anza, California for $300. My son was, uh, we went in to get a soda pop and he said, Dad, there's a teardrop for sale on the bulletin board. So we went over there and bought it. <laughs> well, drive on by here. Let's see that thing go out, go down the road. All right. It looks good. Look at that old teardrop. <laughs> now that's the way they would have looked pulling into a campground back in the 30s or 40s well, we or certainly 50s. hope that they were in a little better condition when they were relatively new but you know that's the that, that's part of the appeal you know these yeah. these were made to function in what era in american camping well, life what were they made for well, they were made for getting out and enjoying America. Now, we've traced the history as far back as 1934. Uh, so we're assuming from ads and magazines and things like that, that, that they appeared in the very early 30s, uh, maybe as early as 1932. Uh, but it was after the war, after World War II, and the GIs returning from Europe and Japan with wanderlust and the better roads and the better cars and things like that, that, uh, uh, Somebody in corporate America came up with the idea that we could capitalize on, tear, uh, you know, on, on getting these GIs out and things like that. So these so, were made as a cheap, inexpensive, accessible way to get out and see America. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's it. That's our visit to the Teardrop Trailer. What is this thing called? Jamboree? Camporee? Southern California Touring Tears Gathering. A gathering, and boy, we have had a lot of fun. These old teardrops have been part of Americana since the 1930s, and they are definitely back in the 90s. And we have had a wonderful day. I hope you have learned as much as I have about these wonderful old teardrop trailers. Everybody having a good time today? Yeah. All right, let's wave goodbye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> goodbye from the teardroppers. again. Bye. Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.